Welcome back to my channel, Matt in Language, and we're going to tackle Ellipse, Pre-Calculus, Part 1, Introduction. So let's start. So ano bang ellipse? Ellipse is yung set of all points in the plane, the sum of whose distances from two fixed points called the foci is a constant. So may kita nyo may two shapes dyan. So yung isa, para sa sila yung oblong. So mapapansin mo yung una is mas mahaba yung horizontal. Tapos yung isa naman, mas mahaba yung vertical. At iba rin yung equation nila. So para mas maitindihan natin yung ellipse, let's have some terminologies, guides, and ellipse formula table. So first one, we have the vertices. Ito yung plural ng vertex. Ito yung the point at which an ellipse makes its sharpest turn. They are also at the end points of the major axis. So always remember, ang vertices, lagi siyang nasa major axis, ting end points ng major axis mo. So, yung dito sa figure, makikita mo ito yung negative 3, 0 at yung 3, 0, yung blue. Next naman is the co-vertices. So, co-vertices, ito ba yung the points at which an ellipse makes its sharpest turns and are also the end points of the minor axis. So, kanina, major axis, ito naman minor axis. Malalaman naman natin yung pinagkaiba ng major and minor axis. So, for this image, ito yung pula. Ting 0, 2, and 0, negative 2. Alright, next one is the major axis. So, major axis is the line segment connecting the two vertices of the ellipse. So, ito yung mas mahabang linya kaysa dun sa minor axis. So, papansin mo, pag yung ellipse mo ay horizontal, so, yung major axis niya ay horizontal din. Ko ang ellipse mo naman mas mahaba yung vertical, so ang major axis will be on the vertical side. Next one, so kung may major tayo, meron tayong minor axis. Ano ba ang minor axis? Ito yung chord of an ellipse passing through the center and perpendicular to the major axis. At mas maikli siya palagi sa major axis. So napansin mo, kasama niya yung co-vertices, yung 0, 2, and 0, negative 2 ang minor axis. So, minor axis and co-vertices vertices, palagi magkasama yon. Moving on, let's have the foci. Ito yung plural ng focus. Ito yung two fixed points on its major axis such that the sum of the distance of any point on the ellipse from these two points is constant. So, mapapansin mo, ito yung violet dun sa image, tapos nasa loob siya ng ellipse. Okay? Always remember, ang focus or foci ay laging nasa loob ng ellipse. Alright, next one. Center. The midpoint of the line segment joining the vertices of an ellipse. So, ito yung midpoint ng dalawang vertices. Pwede rin siyang midpoint ng dalawang foci or dalawang co-vertex o co-vertices. Next one naman is A. A, it is the distance from the center to one vertex. Again, it depends kasi dun sa textbook nyo rin or dun sa teacher nyo kung anong tawag dito. Basta dito sa lesson na to, it is the distance from the center to one vertex. You need to know pa rin kung yung distance ng center to one vertex kasi dito tayo mag apply ng formula mamaya. At tutulong sa atin sa pagsagot ng mga problems. Okay, next one is letter C. C naman, it is the distance from the center to one focus. So kanina, Ang A is the center, is a distance from the center to one vertex. Ito naman, ang C naman is a distance from the center to one focus. So, huwag kayong malito din ha. At syempre, kung meron tayong letter A at letter C, meron naman tayong letter B. Ito naman yung distance from the center to one co-vertex. So, always remember, itong B na to, dun siya sa mi minor axis ha. Kasi kasama niya yung co-vertex eh. Okay? So, distance from the center to one co-vertex which is in the minor axis, ito yung B. Alright, let's move on to the ellipse formula table guide part 1. So, we have an equation, x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. Pag yung a squared mo, kasama niya yung x squared, the major axis niya coincides with the x-axis. And yung center will be 0, 0, foci will be negative c, 0, and c, 0. At ang vertices will be negative a, 0, at a, 0. So, ang pinagkaiba lang naman nito is yung sa isang equation mo, ang a square kasama niya yung y square. At nagkaiba lang din sa foci, baliktad lang. 
And always remember, A is always greater than B and always greater than 0. And B square is equal to A square minus C square. Malalaman natin mamaya kung ano ba yung use ng formula na yan. Importante dito, malaman yung pinagkaiba ng X square over A square plus Y square over B square is equal to 1 dun sa isa pang equation. Again, pag yung A square, nasa may X square siya, major axis niya coincides with the X axis. Ibig sabihin lang nun, ellipse mo, mas mahaba ay horizontal kaysa sa vertical. Pag yung A square naman, nasa Y square, ibig sabihin lang, nasa Y axis siya, tapos, mas mahaba yung vertical ng ellipse. Okay, let's have some opening of the ellipse guy. Again, so pag may equation ka na x square over a square plus y square over b square is equal to 1, or the quantity x minus h square over a square plus the quantity y minus k square over b square, yung formula na yan will be discussed on the later video pa. So for this one, a major axis mo ay nasa horizontal. Okay? Or parallel siya sa x-axis. Yung isa naman, yung x square over b square plus y square over a square is equal to 1, or x the quantity x minus h square over b square plus the quantity y minus k square over a square, a major axis mo is on the vertical side. Alright, so let's have some equations of an ellipse at vertex 0, 0. Find an equation of the ellipse with center at the origin, or 0, 0 yun, 1 vertex at 0, negative 2, and 1 focus at 0, 1. Alright, so kung may problem na binigay sa inyo na ganyan, yung may vertex ka tapos may focus at center at the origin, i-graph nyo agad para ma-visualize nyo kung magiging itsura ng ellipse. It will help you to solve the problem also. Always graph it. So mapapansin mo, the major axis is at the y-axis. Bakit? Kung saan ang focus at ang vertex, yung linya na yan, yun yung major axis. Always remember, ito yung magiging clue nyo para sa pagsagot ng problem. Okay, next one, hanapin natin yung value ng C and A. Next one, hanapin natin yung value ng C and A. So, visually naman, makikita mo, ang value ng C is 1 unit and ang value ng A is 2 units. Yung distance nila. Again, yung C, that will be the distance from the center to 1 focus. And A naman is distance from the center to 1 vertex. Okay, so dahil naanap na natin yung value ng C and A, which is 1 and 2 respectively, hanapin naman natin yung value ng B. So, paano natin nahanapin yun? Remember the formula, B square is equal to A square minus C square. So, algebraically, B square is equal to 3, and B is equal to the square root of 3. Alright, so i-graph ko na rin siya, at ang square root ng 3 ay approximately 1.732. And also remember, kung isa lang yung point na binigay sa inyo, ang ellipse naman is mirror image eh. So, papapansin mo, ang focus mo yun sa 0, 1. One unit siya away from the center, pataas. So, pababa, that will be one unit din from the center. So, ang isang focus mo, that will be 0, negative 1. Yung isang vertex given daw ay 0, negative 2, which is 2 units, palayo sa center. So, yung isang vertex mo, that will be 0, 2. Kasi two, unit, 2 units then opposite. Same with B then So, 1.732 siya sa, sa kanan. So, dapat 1.732 din siya sa kaliwa. Alright, so anong equation ang gagamitin natin? So, we will use x square over b square plus y square over a square is equal to 1. Bakit? Kasi the major axis is at the y axis. Pag yung a square ay nasa denominator ng y square. Ibig sabihin lang noon, yung major axis mo nasa y axis. Kaya ito yung equation na gagamitin natin. Alright, so dahil alam na natin yung equation na gagamitin natin, let's just substitute. Ano ba yung b? That will be square root of 3. E dahil b square yung nakalagay sa equation, you have to square it, that will be 3. At ang a naman natin is 2, so square that, that will be 4. And there you have it. The final answer will be x squared over 3 plus y squared over 4 is equal to 1. Sa tanong na, find an equation of the ellipse with center at the origin, 1 vertex at 0, negative 2, and 1 focus at 0, 1. Okay, so next video naman natin will be part 2, center at HK. So yung itong video na to is mostly introduction lang. 
at nag-focus lang tayo pag ang center ay nasa origin. Paano naman pag ang center natin ng ellipse ay hindi nasa origin? So we will tackle about that. So makikita nyo ating dalawang formulas that we will be discuss at the next video. And if you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video or kung may assignment kayo, please comment down below. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.